Jennifer and welcome to my first knitting podcast. If you're not already familiar, I've been part of the YouTube community for well over a year now. My channel has been geared more toward the um, floss tube community, which is a cross stitch community here on YouTube in case you're not familiar. In the past few months, a lot of my content has been a lot more knitting focused rather than cross stitch focused. So I wanted to organize my channel a little bit and kind of separate them into two, separate my channel into two different playlists, one for knitting and one for floss tube slash all my other hobbies. So I'm really excited for this journey and to focus on, to have certain videos be focused solely on knitting, crochet, and all the yarn things. So welcome, I'm super excited. And to start off, I just wanted to talk about, I have some notes here, um, really quickly where you can find me. You can find me on Ravelry as Jen, J-E-N-N -N crafts, all one word. You could also find me on Instagram as Jen underscore crafts. And you could find my hand dyed yarn company, which I will talk about here in a minute at Spectacular Yarns on both Instagram and Facebook. So a little bit about myself. I am originally from Southern California. My husband, my boyfriend at the time, and I moved to Florida for five years. Um, we loved it there. We ended up buying a house there. We got married in Florida, loved Florida. And then he got stationed um, at Fort Carson in Colorado. So we are now in Colorado Springs. Um, it, we've been here for about two years now and I really do love Colorado. Um, I live with my husband and my two fur babies. This is Zoe, she is a Great Dane. And then I have a Maltipoo who is a 20 pound, 10 year old little fur ball. And I would show you him, but she gets very jealous and he's somewhere around. He's over here. Go, 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 sit. Okay, later, okay? So I have not been knitting for a long time. I started learning toward the end of May of 2019. So it's been, what, about seven months? And I'm self-taught. I learned a lot of it on YouTube and it took me a weekend to a full two days <laughs> A frustration for me to learn how to cast on um, and how to do knit and purl. So after that I attended a beginner workshop at my local yarn shop and from there I became obsessed. I wanted to make everything, learn all the techniques, which motivated me to open my own yarn company. So I am the dyer behind Spectacular Yarns, a hand dyed company that I started here in Colorado and I absolutely love it. I appreciate all the support that I've got and I'm excited to share with you my journey along the way. So let's get into some finished objects. Now, the first project that I ever did was this cowl here and this is from Yay for Yarn. She has a YouTube channel here and I will link her down below. And I'm a very visual person. So when I saw a video for this cowl, I fell in love with the cowl itself. And I figured, well, it's very visual. I could watch and I can do it. And I didn't know that this was kind of not a good project for a beginner, right? It's somewhat considered lace. Um, but I challenged myself and I took it to my yarn shop and they helped me a few times when I had dropped stitches and I am very proud of this, um, this cowl for being my first project. I love it. I love the color. This is a Malabrigo, um, I think in the color Valentina. And I love wearing this. I feel like it, it goes with so many different colors. Um, let's see what else. Also, I finished this everyday slouchy beanie out of Hugh Loco's yarn in wild at heart i believe and this pattern i have my ipad with me so i could look at my ravelry um let's see this is by dragon horde designs and again everything will be linked below and all my uh, projects you can find on my ravelry page but this took about a little over a skein so a skein and a quarter maybe I love it. If I can do it again, I would do it a little less slouchy, but I do love it. Uh, let's see what else. I also made this beanie here, which I love. This is from Jody. Let me see here. 
Let me get the pattern name. It's the Harrington Hat by Jody Brown. Jody Brown is one of the grocery girls. I love watching their channel. They are amazing. They are hilarious. If you do not watch the grocery girls, I highly recommend it. Their videos are always like at least an hour long, which I absolutely love. They just make my day. Whenever they put up a video, I get so excited. Um, but yeah, this one's by Jody, and this is in my Spectacular Yarns colorway Ash Blue. And it's just the perfect gray blue color and I, I love it. It goes with so many things. Let's see what else. I have this that I'm wearing here. This is, I did not knit this. This was a sample for my yarns. Um, this is our Haunted Mansion colorway and I'm moving the micro microphone so I'm sorry if it's causing a little bit of disturbance. Um, and this is our Shoot for the Moon colorway which is a really neutral um, gray. These are the leftover skeins for this project. I hope you could see that the lighting is not the best here. And this shawl is, let's see here. I will link it down below because it's not on my project page because I did not, um, I did not make this. It was a sample. So I will link that down below. But I do, I love this shawl and I would take it off and show you guys, but I have like the mic connected and stuff. So I'll show it to you another day when I'm not wearing it. Um, another sample that I was knit um, was this one here. And again, I don't know the pattern. I'm not very prepared, am I? Um, I, I forget the pattern name, but I will link it down below as well. And this is in Spectacular Yarns, my hand dyed um, company. This is in our rose gold colorway and I love it. Looks like this. I love this color. I think it's so pretty and it's exactly what I was imagining. Let's see. I also made some socks, which I, I was intimidated to learn to make socks. And then when I semi learned, because there's so many different methods of learning how to make socks, when I kind of learned how to, di how to do it, I um, casted on a whole bunch of socks and I have maybe four of them that are like barely casted on. <laughs> I barely have any progress on them, but there's actually one pair that I actually finished and they are huge. <laughs> I don't know. I try to do the math. I try to like figure out how many stitches to cast on and they were just... They were just too big. Um, and I wanted shorty socks, so I made them very short. I did these two at a time toe up with self-striping yarn. I will leave the link for the yarn down below. Um, and then the contrast yarns that I use are just hand dyed yarn that I dyed for myself just for this project. It's not available in the store. Um, but I mean, they're comfortable. I'm gonna wear them around the house. Um, I'm very proud of them for being my first sock, so I'm not complaining. Um, I have enough yarn to make another pair that fits better probably. So I am really, really excited about having a complete pair of socks. So I plan to cast on another pair very soon and in my next video, I will show you that. So that I think are all, those are all my finished objects. I'm pretty sure. Um, now I do have a lot of whips because that's just the type of person I am. I can't just be monogamous, I guess. I just have to just do all the things. So I am going to share with you some of my whips. I'm not going to share all of them because I think it would be way too much for this video. Um, but I, you can always check my Ravelry and look at all my projects. So let's start off with... Um, La Biana May bag that I have here. My sister, my sister brought it for me from France and I adore this bag. It's such good quality and I love the yellow inside. Anyway, um, let's see here. This is Zilver by Lisa M uh, Mooch. There you go. And again, I am using Spectacular Yarns. Um, color I forget what color this is called but I will link it down below 
and this is how it's coming along. I love this color. Um, to be honest, I don't remember if this color has been released yet. It might be a new color that I was sampling. Um, but if you follow me on Spectacular Yarns Instagram and Facebook, you will be kept up to date with all our new releases. So I absolutely love the way this is coming out. I love this pattern. You have, you know, a little bit of a challenge here in these ridges, but then you have a little bit of easy stockinette and it's just so easy to work with. And this is our cashmere blend. So it's just so soft and I cannot wait to be done with this and just be able to, and I just got a phone call. So, um, but yeah, I, just, I can't wait to be done with this. And I am using my Licka needles, which um, I absolutely love. I got a set for my birthday last year and I have been loving them. Um, I do not like the cord that they come with. So I am using Knitter's Pride cord, which fit on the Licka needles perfectly. So that is what I'm doing with that. And here is the, the yarn with highlighter tape on there. Okay. Next, we have Right Around the Corner by Lisa Haynes. And this was the first project that I started to do after this one, I believe. This is the project that um, they were teaching me at the yarn shop when I went to my beginner class. And I am not far at all. This is just garter, right? I think that's what it's called when you just knit each row um, back and forth. And it's just slow going because it's just knitting. And I just wanted to learn all the techniques. So this just got kind of thrown to the side. I do love it. I do want to finish it. I just haven't picked it up in a while. And I am using um, Andromina Sock Yarn. She is a local dyer here in Colorado Springs. She has beautiful yarn. And this is in the Dusty Rose color, which is this one here. And I kind of have it in these like yarn sock things. Um, and this is our Shoot for the Moon colorway for, um, from my hand dyed yarn company. And that is this gray color right here. So I have that going and very easy pattern. It has, so this, it, and it's black and white because I don't have a color printer, but this middle section is um, this here and these are the two colors um, combined. And then there's gonna be a section here with each of the colors. Um, so this will just be Dusty Rose and this one is just gonna be the Shoot for the Moon colorway. And I think it's gonna look so good when it's done. <sighs> okay, what else? Okay, I'm also working on the Gaptastic Cowl. And I am using this beautiful, beautiful yarn. It is bulky and squishy and delicious. And let me tell you what it's called. I got two skeins of this at my local yarn shop. Here's the other one ready to go. And this is Plymouth yarn in Ariado. There you go. And this is 70% baby alpaca, 7% merino wool, and 23% nylon. It is so soft and it's such an easy pattern. It's just seed stitch. So it's just knit pearl, knit pearl. And this is just really quick. I barely worked on this and I have a decent amount done. Again, I just got kind of bored of it and I'm not a fan of using huge needles, um, but I am going to pull this out and really work on it because I would love to get it done and it's bulky so it should be pretty quick. Um, and I just love the color like this. This is totally me. If you know me, blues and grays, I just love them. I love them so much. So, okay, my next project is the Montana Sky Shawl by Natalie Coons and this picture is really bad. Let me see if I can pull it up on here. So this is the Montana Sky Shawl and this is by Nitty Natty here on YouTube. She has great videos. I love her teaching style. Highly recommend this pattern for beginners and it's DK weight. So it just, it goes so quickly. 
I am just under halfway now and I am loving this. This is in the Spectacular Yarns um, colorway Sea Glass, which is a really neutral mint color with dark blue and teal speckles and I absolutely love it. Love this pattern. Um, you can try to see there. I have better pictures on my Instagram and on my Ravelry if you want to check that out, but I love this knit. Highly recommend it for a beginner especially. I think it would be fun and challenge a little challenging not too hard definitely doable and if you haven't tried dk way it is one of my favorite yarn bases now okay my next project is my comfort fade cardi by andrea maori i'm sure you've heard of this it's very popular and this was actually my first garment that i started making and i was pretty nervous about it and i was it was actually pretty easy so this is the top over here i just don't want my needles I don't want my stitches to fall off my needles, um, but this is the back right there. And let me see, Let's switch this over. There you go. So that's the back area. And I was able to um, split for the sleeves with a little bit of help from YouTube and it was easier than I thought. And I don't know why I was so nervous about it. So. This is using my hand dyed yarn, Spectacular Yarns. It's kind of two different yarns that I do sell in the shop, but the colors in between are just a fade that I made for myself. Um, and I do have a picture just to get an idea here. And I am loving the way this is coming out. I got to the main body part and then I slowed down. Um, a lot because it's just knitting at that point and again I get a little bored and I just move on to the next thing but I really want to come back to this and make some progress I need to just put it downstairs because that is my knitting spot right next to the TV and if I have it there I'll work on it so okay so my next project is the what the fade cardi by andrea maori and this is kind of an intense project um i did have to take a class at my local yarn shop for this i had been eyeing this shawl for a while and then when i saw that they were going to have a class for it i completely dived in i started um figuring out what yarns i wanted to use i used my yarns for my hand dyed company spectacular yarns just because it does require six of them and i thought it would also be a perfect opportunity to showcase six different yarns of mine um on one on one shawl um so let me show you the yarns that i'm using and then i'll show you the the shawl so we have this one here i should probably get the names for them let's see here Um, okay, this one is called Stone Washed. I don't know if you could really see. The lighting in here is not the best, but it's just a white with um, like a denim blue color. And then I have this one, which is Steel Magnolias. This one called Blue Springs. Shoot for the Moon, again, which is this one here. Sea glass, which is the same color as the shawl that I just showed previous. And then out of the blue, which is a beautiful blue color. I love this color. So this is my progress. I don't have a lot done. It does take a while. I love brioche though. Um, I'm just scared of it still. Um, like if I drop a stitch, it's really hard to correct it. Um, so I do have a lifeline and every once in a while I put another lifeline. So. I am loving it. It is beautiful. It's so squishy and I can't wait to make more progress. I just find it difficult to pick up. I don't know what it is. I feel like every time I'm going to work on it, it's like I have to like mentally focus. And when I'm done uh, working throughout the day and I want to watch TV and relax a little bit and decompress at the end of the day, the last thing I want to do is focus on something. I just want something mindless. So I have been struggling to work on this, um, but I have been trying to work on it at least half an hour every day, and I have made a little bit of progress that way. So if you haven't learned brioche, 
I would highly recommend it. It is awesome, but it probably, I would recommend actually going to maybe like a class because it's a little hard to learn on your own and kind of get the grasp of it. At least for me, it was a little challenging. So the last um, project that I want to share is my flat iron shawl by Tony of TL Yarns Crafts. This is what it looks like. It is um, three different colors. I had three colors and then I changed my mind and now I only have the first color, which is just white. Um, but I am making progress on it. And I do like to crochet sometimes. I learned a few years ago. I never really advanced. I would still consider myself a beginner, but I don't know. I just, I fell in love with knitting, crochet not so much, but I do enjoy doing it once in a while. Um, and I, I have been enjoying this, so I need to figure out what other two colors I want to use for that shawl. So I will be showing progress as, um, as the weeks go on. Okay. So I think those are all the whips that I have to show right now. Um, a lot of the other whips that I have were just cast on. I didn't make much progress and I kind of put them aside. The ones that I showed today are more in rotation and I'm really excited about them. I'm excited to make progress. I'm excited to, um, start this journey of this knitting podcast and share with you my progress along the way. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Thank you for joining me in this adventure and I can't wait to see what 2020 brings. So thank you so much and I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.